Hi everyone, I'm back and uh, this is part uh, 7 I think um, We finished, uh, I finished this uh, last time Moving on to the next page, I'm trying to think of all uh, the things that you can do uh, with the that will be uh, new techniques uh, to show new tips, new tricks in each page and also uh, that it will be frugal crafting so and it, is it rich for all um, so now I'm uh, moving on to um, handmade uh, sprays because also another uh, thing that uh, when I started uh, we don't have them here and now uh, there are some uh, brands that trickle in but they are very expensive so when I wanted uh, to have sprays I needed to figure for my own how to make them my first try and I have to say it was a good one because I still have these uh, sprays after two years and they are still working so I must have done something good so the easiest or cheapest I don't know uh, way to make sprays uh, first of all these bottles uh, first I ordered them from China and they are very cheap but then I found them here in cheap cosmetic stores and uh, also very cheap so I'm using this uh, little bottles and if you've got kids or grandkids you will always have a dried up felt pen and I don't throw them away because I'm using them to make sprays uh, I remember that when I was a kid we used them to when they were uh, dry we used them to color water and uh, this soap and we would make a colorful foam inside a plastic bag just something we, we <laughs> were doing when we were little kids and I remembered uh, taking the inside of uh, the felt pen and using it for that purpose so I figured maybe I can do this to make sprays so basically you take all the uh, dried out uh, felt pens and you need to uh, use force to break it and it's not always easy but you need to break it so you can take the inside the feeling uh, here we go you see I can't uh, break it okay here is the filling basically I'm removing this filling from inside the felt pen and in my exper experience I needed um, more than one for a uh, one bottle I'm uh, cutting it uh, to little pieces and just uh, inserting in the bottle everything is falling I'll remove it for now it's in our way okay another blue one this one broke fast again little pieces and now just plain 70% uh, alcohol My, I thought that it will give me some kind of uh, alcohol inks <laughs> of course it's not but it's a good spray to work with so uh, it takes some time for it work 
so just let uh, you can already see that it, it start uh, starting to work just uh, let it uh, be and if you see that it's not strong enough just add more uh, filling from a felt pen moving on this was the the first idea for handmade uh, sprays the second one oh my neighbor started all drilling again oh i'm so tired of it it's like two months now yeah i, I think they didn't leave a uh, one wall without drilling in it okay moving on next uh, uh, one is from a uh, food coloring this is a uh, from a local brand so i can't uh, say i uh, recommend anything uh, otherwise and they work really well um i just uh, put in um uh, two to three drops inside and water and it works beautifully and i've i've used them for a lot of time and they keep being a uh, great and not fading i'm just trying uh, to put here from my uh, blue and i'm going to add this is the first time i'm putting two colors at the same bottle i'm adding a little bit from the purple in the hopes that my blue will get darker so here it is where is my water very cost efficient because you only need a few drops and it, uh, it's I have got this for already I think two years now and I'm not close to uh, finishing with them so here it is this is the second uh, um, way to make uh, home sprays and uh, let's see let take and just so you will see oh. look at the beautiful color so this one was from the food the uh, food coloring this one I have already I, I two years you can see the filling from the felt pen and just to demonstrate this is with the alcohol the third option uh, I got this idea from Nina Rebina she sent me bottles with a little bit of uh, powder of uh, brusho powder and brusho powder you just need to add a little uh, hot water and you've got sprays only uh, we don't have brusho powder here so i was kind of curious if i can find something similar and <laughs> the, the thing i'm doing for craft <laughs> materials i was in prague I was in a craft store and I don't know how I came by it but I asked well I asked for brochures and I tried to explain to the uh, people there that I want some kind of powder a pigment powder so they gave me a um, powder for te uh, for textile for dyeing textile uh, fabrics and it was so cheap I said what the heck I'll buy it and I'll try to use it and what do you know it works uh, you just take very little of this powder put it uh, inside this kind of bottle and water and you've got another spray a uh, colorful sprays and uh, this is um, this one um, is a I, I've bought here it's also a to for a dyeing fabric and I think 
I, I I've tore here, but it's some it's international. You can find it everywhere. This brand, and you can make from this um, uh, the colorful sprays. I I just know I don't know how much it will cost uh, uh, in the US or in the UK. Here it's not so cheap, so I don't buy this stuff. I'm I'm going to be. <laughs> in Prague in May again so I'm going to buy more of these powders again it will last me for years because you only need a, a fraction of it to to make a, a spray so this is what I have to do to say about sprays and how you can make your own and frugal uh, and be frugal about it uh, so I want now to do something with sprays on my next page and since I'm not going to use a bot uh, stencils I'm going to make my own stencil from a magazine page and others I think I've all I have already made a video about the all the options you can uh, you have for a stencil or stamping and so I'll probably repeat myself here but not everybody watched it and uh, so here we go another uh, paper that's going to be cut if you will think back to all the crafts you've done as kids, you can probably find out that most of it can be uh, made today and you just need to adjust it to adult uh, crafting. But it's all there and you can do wonderful things uh, with the same techniques. So I'm using again my... Uh, this is nail scissors they are more dainty it's easier to cut small things with them and i'm it's also easier because they've got some curve that i am uh, using to my advantage in cutting and uh, the small pieces i'm not planning it and uh, just whatever will uh, come out of it will come out of it <laughs> That's, I think that's half the fun of making these uh, things. You per can probably also use um, do uh, paper doilies if you don't want to start cutting uh, this stuff. I just wish my neighbor would stop with the drilling. It's just making me crazy. Enough is enough. okay let's see what else can we cut from here as i said it's not planned so okay let's try for some kind of curve Bear with me. I think this is enough for now. Let's see what came out of it. Okay, so now this is not, it's a magazine page is not really sturdy. The best way 
to use this as a stencil is to uh, smoosh it between two books until it's straight and the other uh, thing that you can do to make it more um, sturdy and maybe even reuse it in the future and I already have several like this that I'm uh, using again and again there are two ways you can gently coat it with a uh, white glue and of course let it uh, dry completely from both sides the other one the other option is uh, acrylic paint but I, i'm not using acrylic paint because i'm always afraid that when i'm i will go in and try to use it as a stencil the color will uh, react with the new color so glue is the best way to make it more uh, firm of course if we are not talking frugal crafting then um, gel medium will be the best thing for this uh, kind of uh, stuff but if we are not talking frugal then we don't need <laughs> to make stencils from magazine pages so i'm going to uh, start with this i'm let's say uh, i'll bring my uh, stash of sprays so we can start uh, let's see uh, what colors do i want to use i think i'm going with greens turquoise blue and let's see maybe even uh, yellow I'm moving it aside okay here we go of course you can start with spraying all over and then using your stencil whatever you want to accomplish and let's see maybe i'll put uh, a little bit of the yellow first and then just so it will be bright and it will be good if i had my paper towels where did i put my paper towels because I don't want to wait for it to dry I just want a hint of color for now okay save the paper towel it can be used later with all the all the color that will be on it okay I'm trying to flatten it but it's not really important one now take this and flip it over go take your uh, paper towel squish it of course it will work this technique will work even better if your stencil is not from paper but that's what we are working uh, with now it makes a really interesting background uh, the good thing now that I've used this wet uh, stuff the sprays is that uh, now my, st my magazine stencil is uh, flattened out so again I'm going to use this here
shaking the stencil and flipping it here again putting my paper towel okay the background is starting to look even more interesting okay Okay, so it's not very distinct, like uh, uh, maybe you would like it to be, but it really works in uh, making a fast background. So now I'm just, I need it to dry. I really want uh, to keep this uh, as a stencil. I'm going to dry it, put uh, glue on it, dry it again, and I'll be back and I'm, I want to use, try and use acrylics with this. So I'll be back. I'm back just so you uh, will know uh, when I'm putting glue on this I'm more dabbing it than uh, brushing it because it's as I said it's very flimsy I don't want it uh, to tear and you need if you want to keep it uh, as a stencil <laughs> then you need patience and really work and uh, gently with it I think it's worth it because uh, basically this is my design it no one it's uh, it isn't bought and uh, no one uh, is going to have the same thing this is unique for me uh, and it doesn't matter that it's not it wasn't planned that it's not something uh, amazing it doesn't have to be amazing it just need to be unique for you so uh, and you probably know how to make this thing uh, better than me all those uh, cut out uh, paper to make snowflakes for Christmas think about that and make your own stencils so that was my tip about uh, putting glue on this and I'll come back I'm back. So I kind of uh, messed up uh, my uh, paper stencil. I, I've used a new brand for my uh, white uh, glue and it never uh, had this problem but it left kind of plastic film where the uh, holes were. I tried to pick them out but no, didn't exactly manage all of it. I even used, tried and used my heat tool. I thought it will melt. It's supposed to melt. It's just plastic, but also didn't work. So I'm. I left it as it is. Here it is, like plastic film, and I don't care. I'm using uh, the stencil uh, here with no uh, any planning. I just want more texture, more uh, interest to my page. I've, I've taken two uh, metallics, uh, plush purple and blue taffeta folk art uh, metallics, and I'm using them with uh, this stencil. I'm not trying uh, for it to be accurate and just adding interest. Um, I'm always when I'm using any kind of stencil I'm using at least two colors at the same time because again it's more interesting than solid color so let's put here a little bit more details too much white all around 
Okay, this is the background. This is only, for me, this is only first layer and I'm moving this aside. And I've got leftover paint. Here, let's find a page. Never leave. Paint unused. Now I will have a lovely painty paper. Okay, and now the pinky paper moving aside. So, let's see. Now I want to add more interest. Not finished with it yet. Let's see uh, what I can find to make more details on this page. Mm -hmm. uh, Probably uh, here, and I just can't find it again. I had uh, a bag full of uh, rubber bands. Here it is. More rubber bands. Now I don't know if it will work. I already tried it once, and it worked. But I don't know if it will work on this background. So. Again, I am not afraid to try because this is newspaper. I don't care. This is cheap stuff. That's the whole purpose. Experimenting. If I won't like it, I'll just jessel all over it and start again and do whatever I want. Don't be afraid to experiment, especially when it's on something like this, which is newspaper and magazine paper. Okay, let's see. Maybe it will cover whatever what I already done, but again, this is an experiment. Anything goes. I think it doesn't react good with the gesso that I've already put here, but never mind. As I said, it can be, maybe it will be interesting, maybe it won't, and then I'll just cover everything up. We do need some miss for this journal. It can all go smoothly. Okay, I'm letting it be. I'm not uh, doing anything. I'm just going to let it dry. And then I'll come back and we'll see what we have. I'm back. 
I kept adding uh, the sprays and I've lost patience and took all the rubber bands. There is some kind of, uh, you can see where they were, but not uh, really well. Maybe it's because I didn't have the patience, maybe because this uh, sprays don't work, I think, well on metallics. But I, I'm uh, left with a nice background that I still need to work on and it will be on uh, the next part and bye for now.